Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Gracie Appleseed? See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure there was a box full of kibble and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans, maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. <laughs> you know what? Catch me! You know what? Catch me! It wasn't kibble. And to think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. No, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're gonna spend all their time on it. Meaning, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal. Hamsterus stupidicus. Health. Good. Intelligence, very limited. Wow! Did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm gonna be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? Wash? Come on! We'll do a test on Fat Cat! Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam! Run! <laughs> Come here, kitty cat! Come here! Cats know how to climb trees, and I am a real cat! Susie, you are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam! We can't see anything! Sorry, but I really, really have to go eat something. Hey, look! Now the screen is super clean! But I'm starving!
are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. Ta -da! Welcome back, kitty. <laughs> Sam, check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam? Sammy? Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error, unknown Maybe species. Maybe it's a species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Oh, I'm not a unicorn. Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Wait a second! Unknown species. <laughs> Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is a chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for veterinarians! So, oh, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name! The Vladimirius Quadrupedus Rex! You'll be famous! throughout the world! Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius! Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. <laughs> Sam's been captured. The veterinarian is on his way to examine him. Ah, Sam's gonna be sent back to the forest? Not if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, you're joking. Why, I thought that... No <laughs> means no. But but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Quirky genie, use your super jumping rabbit power. <laughs> Oh, Is that dog gone crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child. You're being ridiculous. I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure. We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never, ever dare to go outside again. Gracie, what do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them in cages and run scientific experiments on them. And then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam! Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! 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 <laughs> Two one-way signs? This city has gone completely mad. We did it! He stopped! You made your yeah! yeah! It may be one way the wrong way going forward, but not that <laughs> way. Huh? He looks kinda angry. Do you hear the noises he's making? Unknown animal no. sound. Try again. Awesome! It's got a voice recognition app, too! Forget the purring, Sam! Just try meowing! If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat! Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive oh. roar. Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. <laughs> Yes. <sighs> no, I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. Okay, all right, I'll help you. But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, okay? Mm-hmm. yoo -hoo. Anybody home? Coming! 
Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat! It's not a cat! Look at the hair test results! Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, lupus canny, reptili. Error, huh? error, error. Uh, uh. <sighs> Whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. My conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> wow! 37.8! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Rush! <laughs> so, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready. <laughs> Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? Are you kidding? This awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new kibble extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Living Stones. Nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected yeah. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bastet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. 
Sounds awesome! Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam, you're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. <laughs> I give him 10 seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. Farewell, and kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. Gosh, <laughs> are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop. It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> and what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? <laughs> Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yay! 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 <laughs> Mmm, delicious. Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The sacred cat he was, he left even the dogs in not even the dogs and all. Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> it was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses the second. Glory be to Samses the second, goddess of the heavens. Wash? Samzies the second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Huh? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samzies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samzies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samzies 2? <laughs> It's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this'll have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies, too, is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> saying such a thing in front of your very own sister's terrible! <laughs> well, then, we'll leave you alone with your two small you, I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Uh.
there's this other bozo snoring. Enough already. Oh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? <laughs> <laughs> Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramids. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and uh, be right back. Uh, honey, did you hear all that ruckus? Honey, there's somebody in the living room. No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? Yeah. Yeah. Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! Yeah, I'm just a friend of the Millwater Board, not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah! Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room. Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. <laughs> Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. <laughs> you see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys, you can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. <laughs> And I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But that's extra light kibble. I can't believe it. The Living Stones made a mistake. Do you really think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Chop, chop, hurry on up, it's the Neighborhood swap -arama. Drop on by, shop and swap, exchange and change. This swap shenanigan is a pain. They've taken over our yard. Chill out, Wash. Look up at the sky and smile. Sam, there's no way we're gonna tan. We're wearing costumes. Wow, there's a really pretty scarf and a really pretty yellow hat and some really lame knit hats. Uh, huh? Look over there. Those specks are something else. Whoa! They look like laser specks, like in The Dog from Outer Space, that movie we saw yesterday. Hmm. I think they look more like the super specks in the Royal Chicken commercial. The ones that detect roast chicken! If Mr. L takes them, we'll get to try them out. And they'll reveal the location of hundreds of roast chickens. Let's go! I don't believe it. It's the supervision specs. Uh, uh, uh. What 
have you got to give me an exchange? Oh, uh, well, how about this? A magnificent hedgehog key ring. Yeah, but lame. I'm keeping my specs. Don't move. I'll be right back. Drat and double drat. We'll never get to find out if they're laser specs or roast chicken specs. They're roast chicken specs. It's obvious. Fooey. They're laser specs, Sam. Want to bet? We can't just let it drop. We've got to find out who's right. Stay here, guys. Come on, Eugenie. I have an idea. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Eugenie! Uh, you okay? Mr. Vetzer, Eugenie is passed out. Come quick. I don't believe it. Why do people always hassle me when their pet is sick? <sighs> I hope someday someone gives me a good explanation. <laughs> good job, girls. Ready to lose the bet, Sam? Uh, 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 uh. Me first. There are no roast chickens in the yard. Face up to it, Sam. You lost the bet. I told you they were laser specs. Now give them here. Hang on. These aren't laser specs. They're specs that warp reality. Incredible! Did you see, Sam? Hmm. Yeah. Did I see what? Uh-oh. Vitamin deficiency, probably. A little injection of carrot juice in the ears. That should do the trick. And soon she'll be bouncing like a kangaroo again. Yeah! <laughs> Anybody want some? So, tell me, who is right? It was me all along. But seeing as there are no roast chickens hiding in the yard, Wash says we both lost. Don't look so sad. It's not a problem. It's not a problem, no. It's a catastrophe! What these specs do is show us without our disguises. What? What? Get your paws off. You'll give them please. <laughs> Vladimir, I have an offer you cannot refuse. I will exchange for your specs for, wait for it, wait for it, this. Hmm. hmm, not bad. It reminds me of the work of a lesser known 20th century French master who specialized in ducks. What do you think? I'll take it, but only if the kitten has a clean bill of health. If the vet gives up the specs, Mr. L will see us as the wild animals we really are. No, oh, no! I can't go back to the forest. Wash, do something! Mom, Mom, I want the sunglasses! All is not lost. Eugenie, it's showtime. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Vet! look a bit pale, don't you think? But it seems healthy to me. It's a deal. <laughs> They're all yours. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! Do you realize, Honey Buns? I now possess the vet's supervision specs. It's all I needed to complete my collection. yee <laughs> Come on, we gotta get rid of these. Alfie, can't you see? There are absolutely no sunglasses here. What's the point in telling lies? Now keep quiet and stay out of mischief. <laughs> Humans are so easy to fool. It's almost too easy for a fox. <laughs> My sunglasses! <laughs> you naughty dog! So, what do you think we could do to get rid of those, Wash? We're gonna bury them, Susie. Yeah? No, not the rose chicken specs. Why can't we keep them for us? But Sam, those specs do not detect roast. Naughty doggy doggy, give me my sunglasses. Sam, eat. I want my specs. <laughs> They're my specs. I saw them first. Huh? Ah! Wild animal! Run for cover! Supervillains, beware! Supervision is on his way! Ouch! What is this, Flim Flam? You can't see anything with these specs. Uh. <laughs> Stop right there, sweetie pie! Look at the pretty buns I found for you! Watch out! The blue cat is a wild yeah. boar! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> the youth of today. They have such wild imaginations. Huh? Hmm. But, but, but why are you all wearing underpants? Stop! That's enough now, Alfie. Stop trying to show off. <laughs> wild animals. Now we've heard it all. You be good, my honey pies. Phew, he really had a sweating there. If we're sweating, it's because of Mrs. Livingstone's knit hats. The wool plus her costumes plus today's magnificent sunshine, it's no surprise we're sweating. This is outrageous. These glasses are fake. You can't see a thing. Where are the real ones? Quick, activate emergency plan. Your child is simply delirious. Those specs should never be worn without the costume. They are far too powerful. He could start hallucinating all kinds of stuff. This pair is totally safe for you to wear. Oh, that's <laughs> what it was. Thank you, Mr. Livingstone. Oh, dear. Hmm, I'd better go test them out indoors instead. I have something to confess to you, Alexandra. He's gonna see us, Wash! He's gonna see us! Not if we're faster than he is! <laughs> Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my super vision specs! Phew! It's you, Vic! Wow, these specs sure do work good. And now, where have my supervillains got to? Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! This family is really getting worse and worse. You're not transparent, you know. I love you, Alexandra. Please kiss me. Alexandra, where are you? Uh, oh. What? No, I don't believe it. Not the old power cut trick. I know. We'll do it like on the TV. We'll stop supervision from seeing us and grab the super specs from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you, my little super villains. I've got to talk to you, sweetheart. It's about our darling pets. Supervision at your service. One minute. Aha! I know where my supervillains are hiding. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Ow! But this... I've got him! Uh? No! Ready, Sam? Farewell, those chickens! Uh. Uh. <laughs> Who turned out all the lights? Great trap, supervillains! <laughs> Nobody is faster than Su- That's enough, honey! Don't you realize you're terrifying our little darlings with your silly spectacles? Uh, really? Of course! They don't recognize you with your specs and costume! Oh, no! I'm sorry, sweetie pies. I'm gonna throw these naughty spectacles in the garbage. Come on, come here. I'll give you a super hug! <laughs> Wait! What if someone finds the super specs in the garbage? Who do that? Only wild animals go rummaging through trash cans. And seeing as there are none around... <laughs> well said, Sam. Mm, roast chickens, here I come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hey, 
Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe? No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats, Wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Vic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Mm, Mimi, Mimi, Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 As a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Yay! Washington! Washington! So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Yay! Hey, no, Don't hey, even no, think of it. <laughs> oh, look at Daddy's cute little dog. <laughs> this off. <gasps> you, sweetie pie. Yes. Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up. <laughs> Yet. Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. And it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria is ruining it all in one afternoon. 
If she carries on like that, the living stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic, and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, mm -hmm. Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Wash, no, I mean, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's going to get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> oh! Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... Oh. What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the animal pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait, what if Washington is sick? Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Madame Your Vet of this veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when they get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No! No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, Eugenie. You smell them! <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. 
No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hit my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. But where is it? Don't panic. It happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking. There must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course, it must be those vitamin enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <laughs> What? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. What's up, Wash? Aren't you having breakfast with us? Oh, I didn't sleep a wink last night. Yeah? Hey! Whoa! Ever thought of packing on a beauty mask? Or at least a little facial scrub? Yeah! A mud mask will do miracles! Enough already! I think someone is spying on us. Oh, yeah? Why? I don't know. Maybe someone who knows we're not who we pretend to be and who's gonna blackmail us or worse, denounce us to the animal pound! Talk about paranoia. I always thought you watched too many spy films. A fox's nose is never, ever wrong. Honey, it's a done deal. The new neighbor has agreed. Super! That granny cupcake is such a sweetie. <sighs> and here we go again. What? Oh, no! It all makes sense now. You guys still don't get it. The Living Stones are undercover spies. They've just been contacted for a mission. Oh, no! Oh, that's ridiculous. They're only leaving for the weekend, and someone is going to look after us. It's just your new neighbor, Granny Cupcake. Oh, hello there, my little friends. I've heard so much about you. Boy, she looks shady. Oh, please. She's just a sweet old lady, and you've been watching too many movies, Wash. I brought you treats. Whoa. You You're going guys. to be in excellent hands. No, don't leave. We're in danger. You see, Wash, there was nothing to worry about. We've never been so spoiled. She even knitted us a hammock. I just love Granny Cupcake. I swear she's hiding something. Believe me. Let's go rummage through her stuff. <sighs> Listen, Wash, I've had it up to my whiskers. I'd rather take another nap than continue listening to you spouting garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Cupcake is trying to divide the ranks. That's so she can chew, Wash, and enjoy. Well, if that's how it is, I'm going to rummage through her stuff on my own. Hey. 
She has to be hiding something. Ah! Ah! All right. Now that everyone is awake, everybody get inside on the double. <laughs> you she was shady. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the only Lieutenant General authorized. Or, if you prefer, O-L-G-A, Olga. And don't pretend you don't know what I'm saying because I know you know. <laughs> Excellent. So, I am a secret agent specialized in the art of disguise. Just see for yourself. Now, as you are going to see, I have been spying on you for quite some time. And I know everything! Oh, we're as good as back in the forest, guys! Mm -hmm. Under no circumstance do I want to send you back to the forest. What? She understands what we're saying? Yes, I do. I graduated summa cum laude in animal language, which makes it practical for recruiting you. Recruiting us? To do what? We have noticed your ability to pass yourselves off as pets and infiltrate this human household. You have shown great potential for becoming animal spies. Animal spies? Household pets make for awesome spies. Indeed, who would ever suspect them? No one, especially if they don't talk. Whoa! A whole new life awaits you, my future comrades! <laughs> Some vitamin powered kibble, courtesy of the government. <laughs> you are going to need to be in tip top shape before your mission begins. Can you believe it? We are secret agents. I've never eaten such delicious kibble. It's pretty cool living off the government, huh? Uh, what exactly is the government anyway? Agent Washington, what a surprise! <laughs> Sweet dreams, buddy! Finally, I'll be able to put all of my talents to work. Physical and mental. This is the dream of a lifetime. Boy, we're going to have fun! Yeah, it's as if we were all going on vacation together! Oh, yeah! Well then, uh, what should I pack? Hmm, this one is bigger, but I prefer the color of this one. This one. This one, and... No, no, not that one. This one. But you don't even know how to read, Wash. Yeah, well, that never stopped me from appreciating great literature. Ah, I found Victoria in the laundry room. It's just awful. She is... She has to sleep. Cats are in... Fascinating creatures. I have never, ever seen anyone nap so soundly. Yep. <laughs> and she won't be waking up anytime soon. I gave her a tranquilizer that would knock out a blue whale. But, but that's, that's horrible. horrible! Victoria! Now just calm down and march back to the living room. Someone is going to be picking you up very soon. There can't be any witnesses. <laughs> without saying goodbye to Victoria. Silence! You are going to have to learn to shut up and listen. What in the world is that mess in that suitcase? You are forbidden to have any of your old belongings in your new life. This is how you are going to be traveling. I'll send you to headquarters. There, you'll receive your equipment and be sent to your new assignments. North Pole for Sam. But it's cold up there. The Amazon for Susie. But I'll get swallowed whole by a giant snake. Australia for Eugenie. But I'm allergic to kangaroos. And finally, England for Wacky.
splashing time. Oh, no! It rains there all the time. I hate the rain. But this means that we're not leaving together. We're going to be separated. <laughs> uh, thank you, Olga, for having thought of us for such a prestigious job, but uh, it's just not our style. Hey there. Not so fast, little guy. If you don't want to go on your missions, I shall be obliged to reveal your true identity. <laughs> so what is it? Mission or animal pound? Oh, no! Not the pound! Well, then, let's get a move on. <laughs> I am so happy to see that you are being reasonable. Listen, I've got a plan. We warn the mailman once we're in the van, okay? Good idea! Oh! I forgot to tell you, this box is totally soundproof, thanks to soundproofing material that interestingly enough smells like cupcakes. <laughs> but I'm getting off topic. What you must remember is that no one will be able to hear you scream. <laughs> Things don't look so good, do they? Yep. We're trapped like a bunch of rats. What's that noise? Hey there, gang. Did you miss me? How did you do that, Vic? What about that whale tranquilizer? The old pill in the cat food trick? Ha! <laughs> what an amateur. I knew the old lady had a trick up her sleeve, so I pretended to be asleep in order to jump in at the right moment. Wow! Thanks a ton, Vic. I just love cupcakes. Ha! Huh? Ah, the mailman! Hmm. Oh, oh, God, God, cupcakes. oh, just look at that. How cute they are. We'll be there in just a sec, darlings. <laughs> Frankly, Victoria, if there's one of us who deserves to be a spy, it's you. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. your dreams, guys, but that's not a movie poster. It's a wanted poster. A wanted poster? Huh? A wanted poster? What have you done, Sam? Me? Nothing at all. I've done nothing, I'm telling you. Sam has been naughty, and now there's gonna be trouble. <clears throat> oh, no! That must be the dog pound coming to get Sam! <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, hello. I'm Mrs. Itby, Arlette Itby, and I've had a call from my veterinarian, Mr. Vetovic, who tells me that my cat, Tom, is here with you. What's that, Tom? I don't believe we have any Toms here. No, honey, are there any Toms here in this house? Tom, my cat, the one I lost? Incredible. Sam is called Tom. That's crazy. Yes, but it means he's not our Sam. That's incredible. Sam has a boy cat. Not a twin, that's a real cat. That just so happens to look exactly like Sam. We had no idea our Sam had another home before coming to us. We're really sorry. We're awfully attached to him. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Out of the question. That is my cat. He belongs to me and I want him. I want my Tom right this minute. <laughs> so Sam, 
You're living a double life, are you? Or should I say a triple life? But it's not him! Tom is a real cat who happens to look like him. That's all! How appalling. Two Sams? How can nature be so cruel? You gotta help us find Tom fast. If I let take Sam away and realizes he's a wild boar, it'll be a catastrophe for us. Let me think this through. No more Sam. No one making noise during my naps. <gasps> Catastrophe indeed. Listen to your heart, Victoria. Listen to it beating like a butterfly. Your share of kibble plus sand for the next three weeks. My share of kibble in just for one week. You're on. Let's start by going to see Fang. He spends his life outside. If something happened in the neighborhood, he'll know about it. Super. Thanks, Victoria. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you seen this cat? Let me think about this. Yes, I have. Right here. <laughs> so what's going on now? Have dogs lost their scent? Can't see behind the tips of their noses? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, Fang. Uh, but anyway, have you seen him or not? Mm. OK, that's enough. No more fooling around. I've got other things to do. There's a food thief hanging around the neighborhood. No way am I going to let that culprit get away. I'm the only one who steals food around here. There he is. He's the one who stole my entire sardine and all of stock! Hand it back right now! Tom's the one you're after. Tom? Who's this Tom? Tom is Sam. Oh. But in fact, not Sam, but Tom who looks like Sam. See what I mean? That's enough! I know what I saw! Beware if I catch you anywhere near my food supply! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! I keep doing stuff I didn't do. This is horrible. Don't worry, Sam. The good thing is that we're on the right track. Apparently, Tom is the one pilfering the neighborhood's food supplies. The problem is, you're the one getting the stick. I mean, you're stuck with the blame. Well, whatever. All we have to do now is catch him. Sam, give me a chicken. Me? I don't have a chicken. It's OK, Sam. We all know you always have a chicken on you. But that's absurd. I've never had a chicken. Cut it out, Sam. We're brother and sister. I've known you since the day I was born. Even in the forest, you always managed to hide food on yourself. And actually, we'd like to know how you do that. You guys near the neighborhood? I just turned up and when I heard you talking about chicken, whoa, but this is incredible. Who are you? You could be my twin brother. Look, we've got the same paws. <laughs> yeah, and we've got the same ears. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me for interrupting your deeply moving encounter, but Tom, your name's Tom, right? Well, Tom, as I was saying, your master is very worried and she's out looking for you everywhere. You gotta go home. Are you kidding? The world is vast and I still have loads of places to explore. This is the first time in my life I've been outside and I'm as hungry as a boar. Yeah? Hey, if you're hungry, Come and have a snack at our place. The Living Stones are really welcoming and open. Oh, yes, come. We'll have a feast. There's loads to eat. Well, of course. I'll tag along. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. The resemblance is so amazing. You didn't say that Arlette was at your place. <laughs> Apart from one mole, those two are absolutely identical. <laughs> Phew! So our Sam's staying with us. What a relief! Let's celebrate! Here's a treat for all of you! Not you, Tom! You could choke or have an allergic reaction! Whittle Tom doesn't want a dreadful allergy, does he? Just because it's you, <laughs> Sam. This won't last for long. Thank you for everything. I'm so happy my little Tom is just fine. Congratulations, your pets are truly adorable. <laughs> Come on, little Tom Tom, time to go home. Freedom, comfort, and kibble heaven. Oh, mine. Oh, Sam, you ate everything up again? Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with this. Uh, sorry, I thought I'd fed you. We had an agreement. Your share for one week. <laughs> hey, Sam! Come and join us! It's so comfy! Nope. <laughs> no deck chairs? What's got into him? <laughs> hey! What's different about you? 
you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? It's me. Right, I'm Sam. Look at my droopy Sam walk. Oh, I know. <laughs> you cut your whiskers. <laughs> Phew. You've got to eat, Tom Tom. I ground everything up. That way, there's no risk of you choking. <laughs> well done, little Tom Tom. As a reward, I got a surprise for you. Look how beautiful you'll be in this. I'm locking up all the doors and windows. That way, no risk of you wandering outside again. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> Oh, no, Sam, not again. It's cool. I got this. Oops, I forgot to feed you all again. Sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop <sighs> that. Wait a second, you'll get your kibble. Since when does Sam know how to purr? He's a boar. If Sam is purring, there's only one explanation. He's a cat. Oh, no, Tom took Sam's place. Tom is Sam? I can't believe Tom actually did. We gotta get rid of him before he settles in for good. To do that, we've gotta scare the daylights out of him. You think something can scare him enough to make him? Yes. We remove our costumes. When he sees us as wild beasts, Tom will take off to the end of the world. And who do we have here? Great to see you again, Sam. You remember what you owe us, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't. Sam, if you don't give us back what you owe us, we're going to... You don't want to know what we're going to do with you. Listen, please, you're making a mistake. I'm not Sam. I swear, my name is Tom. That's a lie. We know you're Sam. Who would want to take his place? Yeah, I swear, it's true. It's because of Mrs. R. Let It Be, my master. She never lets me go outside, and I love going outside. Don't hurt me. I'll take you to him. Walk on ahead. We'll follow. <sighs> right here. I beg you, please don't hurt Arlette. She may seem hard, but she's good-hearted. <sighs> you found me! Where are the keys? In her pocket, but I'll try to get them off her. I'll wake her up. Don't move. Mm -hmm. I'll go. <laughs> so, like, you never have any chicken on you, right, Sam? <laughs> Tom, Tom, this time I thought of everything and I installed it. A... <laughs> a wolf! Help! A wolf? Help! Where? From that big bad wolf. All that time I thought I was protecting you, when in fact you are the one who protects me. <laughs> We're back together. We're back together. What's all this dancing about? They're together all the time. We're back together. We're back together. We're back together. <laughs> Looks like everything's sorted out now. And it's thanks to us. Right, Sam? <gasps> Sam, no! Sam, come back! <laughs> Sam! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. back and next time vengeance will be ours, amigo. First to the sofa gets to choose a TV program. 
Come on, maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow. Back already, huh? Sounds like it's coming from behind the house. Whoa, what is he doing? Do you see that, Sam? What do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome. You think he wants to surprise the living stones, too? No idea, but sure is pretty. Hey, you! <laughs> oh, no. Why'd he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. <laughs> I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the living stones a surprise? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! You'll see! It'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes! I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh! If your plan was to surprise the living stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh, no! No, no! Not our costumes! No! So that wasn't the plan then? Wow! I dig the new costumes! Groovy! I want one too! And me, and me, and me! No! They're not groovy at all! Quick! We have to wash our costumes straight away! <laughs> Lucky the living stones have gone out for the day! Yoo We're back already! Oh, those spots! What are they? Honey, come quickly! I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease! Ah! You're hideous! Quick! Let's get the defense! Hmm. Hmm. Oh, how troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. My secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. Ugh. We've got to get them out of there and fast! Come on, let's try the window! I don't want to go back to the forest! In the rain? In the cold? No kibble? No TV? No roast chicken! Oh, Sam! Give me a hand here! a small bar of soap. Okay, plan B. We gotta get out of here. Let it be. Uh, you can go on lunch break later. It's still only 10 o'clock in the morning. And I do believe you have sick animals to attend to. Okay. Hmm. So, where do we think these little red spots have come from? I'm gonna lock this door, Vladimir. I know what you like. Call me when you found the problem. Call me when you found the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Wash? The door is locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No. I don't know yet. We need a sick. There you go. What was I telling you, huh? You. We're here. Uh, oh dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff, or Welma won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. <laughs> well, now you're going to be proud of me. 
They have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? <laughs> Put on a pair of gloves. <sighs> Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Well done, Vladimir. Uh, Don't move. I'll go see who it is. Vladimir! Uh? Hiya, buddies! What? How on earth there did you... There we go! Mission accomplished! Your day has come at last, Vladimir. Acute inflamed boobinitis is back and you've got a cage full of specimens! a press conference within the hour, and we're gonna show the world and its greatest specialists what this extremely dangerous virus is about. An extremely dangerous virus? I'm too young for this. I still have so much to live for. So many acorns to eat in. Okay, let's calm down, all right? Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've gotta get out of here and fast. <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage isn't locked like mine. All you have to do is push it. Uh, ah. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so that that put me in a special cage. But if you'll lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm. I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat! Meow! Meow! And I hate dogs! Uh, everything okay there, buddy? <laughs> Like dogs, right? I'm sure there's some hidden message in all this. Enough! That dog's going crazy! I'm not a dog and I'm not crazy! What's going on, Wilma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <laughs> ah, they're going to contaminate us! Vladimir! Duty is calling, Vladimir! Your press conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now! Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man and show some guts! You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. <laughs> easy now, easy! You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a. Sam! Don't give away our secret! A uh, cat! Hey! I'm actually a cat too! Meow! Meow! Yeah! So are we! Meow! Meow! Have you all gone completely crazy? Huh? Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined! Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now, we're real cats. Huh? Yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tail. Uh -oh. A dog? I hate dogs! <laughs> Video conference activated. Hello? 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 Mushy, mushy. Hello? What 
just happened to us, guys. That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three, two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! Yeah! yeah. Hmm, that for sure is quite unique. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> Wait, that's nothing. This time, the pyramid! <laughs> we look so well rehearsed. Great trick and a treat. Easy. They remember everything. But you should see Washington do this. He's by far the best of the four of them. Hey, what about me? Say, where is Washington? <sighs> oh. I answer number three, a cup of hot chocolate. Ah, oh, my little wash. Uh -huh. Time for the quick fire question round. What insect produces honey? One, flies, two, bees, three, ants. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy the show's still going. That presenter must be 150 years old by now, at least. Look at Washington. He's answering the questions. Look at his tail. Who invented the famous formula E equals MC squared? One, Einstein. Two, Heidi. Three, Eisenhower. <gasps> wow! Our dog is a genius! I found my special edition of the best Quizmaster questions ever. So, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? One, 50 meters. Two, 164 feet. Three, 5,000 centimeters. What are they doing to me? Don't worry. Same game, different day. Do what they want and the kibble is yours. Mm. Oh, huh? no. For a moment, he was amazing. Now he's getting the answers all wrong. Not at all, honey. He sidestepped their trap. All three answers were correct. Well done, Washington. Incredible. Ah. Oh. What a clever boy you are, Wash. How come you know all that? TV. He loves the documentary and education channel. This is not looking good. Aren't you the one who always says you've got to keep your heads down, not draw attention to the animal inside? Of course not. It's just a harmless little game. How's it going to draw attention to us? That's mm -hmm. right. I want to sign my dog up for the Quiz Master Challenge. His name's Washington. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. <laughs> Gonna be full of himself. In today's show, we have a very special contestant, Washington the dog. Let me remind everybody of today's special rules adapted for our new furry competitor. Washington will answer questions by wagging his tail one, two, or three times. And we're off. Washington, who is Sherlock Holmes' companion? One, Dr. Radcliffe, two, Dr. Watson, three, Dr. Groove. Next question, which pyramid is the biggest? One, the Pyramid of Madum. Two, the Pyramid of Calf. Three, the Pyramid of Chaos. Come on, come on, come on. The score is going through the roof. We have a winner. <laughs> this is incredible. Meet Washington the Wonder Dog with a wonder brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this dog has just broken the show's record. <laughs> wow. I have to admit, the boy did good. The next stage will be the grand finale against the Grand Quiz Master Champion of all time. Mr. Pullface, who will be the winner? Come what may, it promises to be a phenomenal battle. That's right, the grand finale is tomorrow morning. We're very confident, aren't we, Wash? Well done, Wash. I've always said that dog is as cunning as a fox. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> You can say that 
it again. And he's getting all that kibble and not sharing a single one. So, Vic, gonna congratulate me? I had it all under control and incognito. <laughs> uh, Mr. Livingstone, Washington's rival in the final. Mr. Pofay says the show's been rigged. What do you have to say to his accusations? What? Take a look for yourself. The whole thing's a masquerade, and I'm going to prove it. In the freak event that Silly Hound does beat me, I have the organizer's permission to get its so-called intelligence tested live and direct by the renowned vet, Vladimir Vedovic. Wash would be delighted to cooperate. Tests, after all, are his specialty. Personally, I can't wait to find out Wash's IQ. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Now this is getting interesting. What does he mean, silly hound? Me and my so-called intelligence are deeply hurt. If I understand correctly, if you do win this final wash, you're gonna be probed and examined from every angle. And us wild guys, we're not so fond of that idea. Good heavens. This here is no wonder, dog. It is a fox. Oh, no! <laughs> You gotta <laughs> stop being so intelligent, Wash! Huh? Great idea! Listen, Wash, it's simple. You have to lose. Yes, or else it's straight back to the forest for us all. Farewell, glory. Farewell, intelligence. The world will have to be deprived of my prodigious talent. So tell me, what do I have to do to be dumb? Hmm? Sam, Eugenie, Susie, Vic, any idea? Count me out. Mm -hmm. Is it that hard to try to get the answers wrong deliberately? Right, I'll try a different question. This time it's really easy. Remember, Wash, you have to get it wrong, okay? Wash, how many dwarves lit with Snow White? Seven. <laughs> no, I just can't help it. Wash, you're too intelligent for your own good. We don't have a choice. It's time to become genuinely stupid. Hmm, that's given me a brilliant idea. What we could do... Stop with your brilliant ideas. Why don't you think like me? It's really easy. All I do is don't think. I never thought I'd say this, but Wash's intelligence is gonna be our downfall. Super sour candy stings my tongue so much my brain shuts down. So Wash, has it worked? No, it just stings like uh, crazy. How they do it? Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I do. It's the tartaric acid they use, isn't it? Tartamic what? Uh... <laughs> now we're gonna brainwash you and replace your knowledge with completely useless information. Uh... What do you see here? Uh, yeah, a car? No, it's a flower! A flower that looks like a car? Let's start all over again. <laughs> How about this? A postage stamp. Hooray! Wash is an imbecile! Good day to you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this historic program, Washington versus Mr. Poffins. I'm scared. Don't worry, it'll all go super well. Go on, Washington, give it your best shot. Uh, I mean, your worst shot. <laughs> Washington will get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Who painted the Mona Lisa? One, Leonardo da Vinci. Two, Leonardo DiCaprio. Three, Leonard the Lion. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, Leonardo da Vinci. He totally got that wrong. Uh, not that wrong, in fact. It's pretty right. Three, the Mississippi. Zero errors. Your opponent has his work cut out for him. And here he is. It's time for Mr. Poface. Wasn't the plan to get the answers wrong? The device scans animals and searches their brain, seeking out every scrap of information inside. Nothing escapes detection. Well done, Mr. Poface. Another flawless round. You might not have been as quick fire as your opponent, but only the score counts. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I don't know what's going on. I can see the wrong answer, but my tail won't respond. It's like it has an intelligence of its own. Time for the big decider. Get ready, competitors. Here we go. Can you tell me the exact number of teeth to be found in the mouth of the Volopus Volopus, a.k.a. the Red Fox? 
Masquerade. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see well, this. Well, just how does this work? Oh, well, I guess it's plugged in. Should we be worried that they're not his real ears? Shh. This animal is absolutely not gifted in any way. I regret to tell you that there is absolutely zero brain activity zero. present. Huh? It is a mystery how he manages to put one leg in front of the other. As a result, I invalidate the results of this competition. What a phenomenal turnaround! I hereby crown Mr. Poface as our new champion! <laughs> really? Washington isn't gifted after all? You know, we are dealing with statistics. Global warming, in my opinion. Its casualties are simply a coda appendage reflex mm -hmm. reaction. The information transmitted by Washington's eyes, ears, or nose bypasses the brain, and so its flow continues uninterrupted directly to the tail in the form of a jolt of nervous energy, giving rise to erratic movements, which in certain contexts and scenarios may seem to have significance. In a word, his tail probably just wags on its own and there's nothing he can do about it. For once, the guy is actually right! <laughs> you know, Wash, it doesn't matter if you're intelligent or not. We still love you very much. Yeah, we love you very much, too. Even if you are lame. <sighs> Our question of the day, what is the square root of nine? Tweet, tweet, tweet! The right answer is three! <gasps> hey, did you hear that? Okay. Susie chirp three times. <laughs> Quick, where's my telephone? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I have been going a bit heavy on the portions lately. <laughs> I hear the call of the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what is that huge thing? A kibble! It's all stuck inside! Right. Let's just calm down and tranquilly analyze the situation. Do you think they'll come out? Mm -hmm. Three crummy kibbles? <laughs> Looks like our brand new super kibble dispenser has them intrigued. With a diet like this, they'll slim down in no time. Let's let them savor their breakfast. What? That's it? They can't do that to us! Calm down, Sam. We may as well help ourselves to the supply stock. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Huh? They're all locked? We're off to work. See you this evening. What? <laughs> Five hours and 54 minutes? Oh, no! We have to wait five hours and 54 minutes before dinner! Uh, we'll never get it open. We're goners! Any silly costume 
things which are too tight. Well, since we got no food... With Flying Pizza Delivery, your dreams become reality. Order your XXL pizza now by just punching the OK button on your remote control. To eat. <laughs> your order has been confirmed. Flying Pizza at your... <laughs> service? <laughs> Wild animals! <laughs> Uh, the delivery guy. Phew! He's breathing. He's just unconscious. So we've got to get rid of him immediately. Besides, he saw us without our costumes. Coast is clear. Whoa! Hang on! What's that noise in his trunk? Have you received your delivery? Push 1 to confirm. You have not confirmed. Flying Pizza will send an emergency team in 9, 8, 7, No, oh, no! Six, They're on their way! Five, We're gone! 3, 2... Phew! Congratulations! You have been given a new delivery. It awaits you at the Flying Pizza Dispatch. Push 1 to confirm. <laughs> Your next delivery has been confirmed. The Flying Pizza Dispatch Center awaits your arrival. Bingo! Right, we've got no choice then. No way can Flying Pizza find out. Yeah, if their emergency team shows up, they're gonna find their delivery boy out cold. And what's more, discover our real identities. Remember, he saw us without our costumes. Straight ahead, and then you take the next right. A hairpin turn? You said it was straight ahead! Ah! Ah! Right! So anyways, there! You turn right! Uh, no, left! Oh, sorry! Uh, I was holding it upside down! <laughs> ah! What's going on with you? You're late, and you took long enough to confirm at the last delivery. Do you think it's gonna work? You're not very talkative. Now listen up, kiddo. No more being late. You do your job fast, and you do it well. Capiche? Otherwise, I send in the emergency team, and believe me, you don't want to see those guys unless you want to wind up as a topping on the next pizza. <laughs> well. This job sure isn't easy. Yum! Pizza toppings! Right! I take your silence as a yes! Mm. New order in process of being delivered. Mozzarella! Anchovies! Capers! Mushrooms! Olives! Sam, watch! Quick! We're running super late! Hey, where is Sam? What do you want, you filthy mutt, you? Hey, come back, will you? Give me back my pizza doll! Sam! No! <laughs> Sam, what? Quick! We're running super late! We've got eight minutes to deliver the pizza! Otherwise, we're going to wind up as toppings! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make it over this bridge! Come on, let's go! We're gonna make it! Oh no! The bridge is rising! We gotta make it across! Otherwise, we'll never make it in time! I can't watch! That's great. So we deliver the pizza, and that's that. Right on time. What is that? It looks 
just like the house of the... Veterinarian! What in the world is my special flying pizza with extra pepperoni and sausage and oyster toppings going to get here? I'm not going in. Me neither. Come on, a bit of courage, guys. A man who likes pizza can't be all that bad. And besides, we've got no choice. Otherwise, the emergency team turns us into toppings. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so, late again. If they're not here in 30 seconds, I'm calling the Flyer Pizza's emergency hotline. Quick! We gotta deliver the pizza! We can't let him make that call! to you, young man. Hmm. Lackluster fur. Snout is dry. Hmm. You lack vitality, energy. You need to get out more, old boy. Get some exercise. Do you like playing with rubber balls? Right. So what you need is a pick-me-up. I'm also prescribing you three days sick leave. Your job is exhausting. And here's a tip. You're lucky, you know. Two more seconds and I was going to call the emergency hotline. Uh, uh, thank you. But where did all the wild animals go? Wild animals? The medicine must be kicking in already. <laughs> Flying Pizza has another order for you. Push one to confirm. You kept the watch? Well, what? I think it's pretty. Are you crazy or what? Do you want to wind up as pepperoni topping? <laughs> so what are we going to do now? We are going home. Home? But how? It's far. Oh, I don't know. Try walking. It's incredible! Crazy! You all look like you're in tip-top shape! <laughs> It even looks like their muscles are toned up. And they look so healthy, don't they? Yes, as if they had been exercising outside in the fresh air all day. Well, well, I had my doubts about that kibble dispenser, but I can tell you we're certainly keeping it now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. A confession to make. I love you. <laughs> it's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here, and majority rules. Oh, it's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. 
the brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need. With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes. <laughs> My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries. <laughs> What do we do with their old costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cause the future is now! <laughs> Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? Mm -hmm. I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> Magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful. Uh -oh. Quick, everyone outside! Ah! Whew, just in time. This is worse than super glue. If this continues, the neighbors are gonna get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. Uh-oh. Washington, Sam, give me that chicken right this second! This is bad, it's not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the. That's us! <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried. Chicken? Yeah. Me? Me. Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Susie! <laughs> 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 not a dodo bird. Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> It's the raccoon gang! They took our costumes so they could pretend to be us! Yeah, well, we'll see about that! Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters! Imposters? <laughs> Who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! <laughs> There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on. Makes you look fat. Go on, get lost. Go back to your forest, you losers. These are our costumes now, and that is our life. <laughs> We 
put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke. This time we're gunners. It's back to the forest. <laughs> no. No way are we gonna let them take over our lives. Yeah? They're gonna find out what we're really made of. Yeah! We're gonna show them I'm not a dodo bird. This time you've gone too far, raccoon! Hey, guys! I think these bozos didn't quite catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets! They're being attacked by wild animals! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> right, okay. So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're gonna let you get some rest now. Guys, I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Do you seriously think we're gonna let you choose channels? <sighs> Not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons! They stole our costumes! You've got to help us! Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. Hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly, and you'll see. My plan is going to work. <laughs> And what's more, the living stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the bath robot enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? My heart is wavering. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. 
only 137 more episodes. I have a confession to make. I love you. Duh. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Abracadabra! <laughs> what? How did he do that? <laughs> it's just a scam. It's obvious. A scam? What scam? There is no scam, Vic. It's plain to see. That's magic! Sorry to ruin your dream, Sam, but magic does not exist. Of course magic exists. My grandpa had a magic flute that could magic everybody and everything. Even when he was hungry, Grandpa Zachary would toot on his flute and Chicken would come running straight out, bewitched by its magic spell. Really? It's totally true. And because he spent his time eating everything in sight, Grandpa Zachary lost all his teeth. If that's not proof, what is? It's baloney. That's what it is. You know what? My Grandpa had a pixie tambourine and whenever he shook it, everyone started talking humbug. He must have been buddies with your grandpa, Wash. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, very funny. I could bring you back a magic flute, no problem, Vic. Okie dokie, you do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna conjure myself up some magic shut eye. Abra Cadabra. <sighs> Who are you gonna try it out on? There are no chickens around here. No need for chickens. We got Vic. Yeah, it's true the picture does smell good. She must taste amazing. Not to eat her, Sam. We have to prove to her that magic exists. I'm gonna magic her with my flute. Here, put these on your ears. That'll save you from falling under the magic spell. But what are you gonna use? It's a traditional fox flute. Foxes are protected from it. Say, Vic, could you please lend us your cushion? Sure, no problem. Whatever you want. Come on, take a seat. Don't stand on ceremony. Whoa! Reckon she could bring us some kibble, too? Sure, no problem. Feel free to ask me whatever you like. Don't be shy. Can we try your flute? Come on, can we try? Come on, please! Sorry, girls, it's a traditional fox flute. Only works with foxes. Aww. If that's the way it is, we're gonna make our very own magic flute. Yeah! A super duper flute in the canary rabbit tradition! Whoa! Thanks, Vic! Thanks, Vic. Now, make like a banana and split, would you? Sure, with pleasure. <laughs> so, Sam, if this isn't the life, huh? Kibble and a couch and a cushion. Bless. <laughs> if we didn't wear these dumb costumes, life would be heaven. <laughs> hey, Wash, how about you magic the living stone so that they let us hang around the house without our costumes on? Smart idea. Only problem is, I don't know if my flute works on humans. I've never tried. <laughs> we can make our flute from this. Hey, it's the sculpture I made in art class. I wondered what had happened to that. Oh, amazing. You found it, honey. I should have dug deeper. You know what, honey? This has made me want to start sculpture again. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a big 
block of marble to make a sculpture even bigger, and we'll put it in the living room, huh? Gosh, uh. <laughs> how are we gonna find out if the magic flute has worked on the living stones? They always get so starry-eyed about everything. Uh. If the flute's magic has really worked, they'll understand everything I say. Could you possibly take a band of wild animals into your home, please? Of course. Anything you want. We have a fox in the house. Amazing! Wow! A wild boar! I've always dreamed of living with a wild boar. How about we welcome them with one of our special homemade smoothies? Life is gonna be good here! Yeah! This will be better than anything ever! This magic flirt is awesome! Say, let's give it a go! Whoa! What in the world is that? It's a magic flirt, Play-Doh! Maybe it's not so magic as we thought it was. Maybe you didn't blow hard enough. Yeah! What on earth? <laughs> oh! no! A, a bar! What happened, Wash? The magic flute spell has been broken by that weird sound. Quick, cover your ears, Sam. Ah! <sighs> Could you possibly remove the jar off my head, please? Of course. Anything you Here, want. Let me help you, and we'll go fetch you another special smoothie. <laughs> That stuff sure smells weird. Ugh. And what's more, it's disgusting. I gotta wash this stuff off. And one certainly couldn't wear outfits like this in the 21st century. They'd be thrown in the garbage immediately. Yeah, of course, anything you want. You should be ashamed of yourself, scaring honest dogs like that. Look what you've done to that boy. Shit, it does the same thing when I why haven't they been magic like with Wash's flute? Maybe we're not playing the right note. Uh, you okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm great. Happy is the bigger and the fun. What do you want to watch? Hey, what's wrong with you? That's the first time you've ever let me choose a program where you're the one holding the remote. Don't tell me the flute is magic to you, too! Yeah! Huh? Huh? Honey, was it your crazy idea to zap up this chocolate soap and radish smoothie? No, I, uh... Were we going to look for a block of marble for my new statue? Uh, I think we better get our costumes back on, Sam. No, they're in the dumpster. In the dumpster? Who put them in the dumpster? Uh, I did. Yeah, it, it was the woman on the TV. She told me to do it. <laughs> ah! <gasps> it's you making those weird noises? How did you do that? Just like this. <gasps> it really doesn't work like Wash's flute. Come on, let's go ask him. Wash? Wash? Where are you? Works on people on the TV too? How are we going to get to the junkyard without our costumes? <laughs> Can you drop us off somewhere, please? Of course, whatever you want. Come on, get in. See you soon, guys. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Those guys from the pound are really cool. Why are we usually so afraid of them? Hmm. It works even less than in the yard. They haven't even reacted. In my opinion, it's because the show is pre-recorded. You're right. I'll find another show. As this footage shows, right now as I speak, a fox and a wild boar are at large in the local junkyard. There is no cause for concern. The site guardian and his faithful hound have the problem under control. Whoop! Wash and Sam? Now's the moment to see if our flute really works. There, 
here! Our costumes! They're gonna recycle them! Key! Wait for me! Get your earmuffs on, Sam! Shh! You're gonna wake up the guard! Titan? Quiet! Keep the noise down! I know! It's because he wants to play! Come on, boy! Punch! Here, that got him! So, but... I think tanks are in order! Wild animals? In my junkyard? You have exactly five seconds to get out of here! Five, four, three... The costumes, Wash! After all that running around, a massage would be most welcome. Hey, Vic, Vic, seen our amazing flute? No! You can also bring us your share of kibble. Right here in a bowl, please. Hmm. Anything else? I expect you're wanting a massage, too, while you're at it. Ah, oh, that was too good to be true. What on earth was that horrible sound? Titan? Titan? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Come on, bunch of scaredy cats. The coast is clear. There's nothing to worry about. Something feels off, Wash. Come on, I didn't inflate the pool for nothing. Well, I'm going in. Well, if you want your costumes back, you're gonna have to get your paws wet. I think he's adapting a little too easily to domestic life. Ah! Come on, jump and swim, bunch of chickens. With this heat wave, even the guys from the Animal Pounder at the beach today. You were saying about the pound guys? Yeah, right. Well, we all make mistakes. And besides, for you, it's just a misunderstanding. They'll quickly find out you're a cat. Maybe we should have left the cats. Are you nuts? An alley cat that hangs out with animals like that? Why, well, he's probably wild too. And dangerous. <gasps> They were nothing but a bunch of wild animals! We're goners! You, yes, but me, no. I can always get readopted. All I have to do is wait for the first hikers to show up while I quietly nap in a pretty, calm little spot in the sun. A pretty and calm little spot in the sun? <laughs> we're not going there on a picnic, Vic. Do you want me to tell you what life in the forest is really like? I am sick and tired of you hanging around the foxhole all day. <laughs> Go out and play with a pack your age. <sighs> so, it looks like you've been thrown out again, Wash. <laughs> Not at all. What do you mean? I just like being outside where the weather is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's raining now. Oh, look, over there. A ray of sunshine. <clears throat> My secret cave, the only good thing I had going for me. The only place in the forest where I felt protected and could dream of a better life. Mm. If only they made meat-flavored berries, then I wouldn't have to hunt anymore and all the animals could live happily in peace. Hey, Wash. Got anything to eat? Cause I'm hungry! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, no, not that. Well, then I guess you better go get me something to eat. Now! <laughs> Yeah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm a cat, and I can climb up a tree where nobody will be able to bother me. Are you hmm? crazy? Even way up high in the forest is super dangerous. Too bad. Until a hiker comes along, I'll just adapt. As long as I keep my stomach full. <laughs> <laughs> Finding food is also going to be a hassle? <laughs> Nothing left to munch on. The new genie still hasn't come back yet. Good thing you're here to lift my spirits. Your beauty, your calm, your smile. It's me! <laughs> An enormous boar grabbed it from under my nose! An alpha boar! There was nothing I could do! Yep, survival of the fittest forever and ever. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the fittest eating out of my paw. With my charisma, I'll charm them all. That's the last thing you want to do. I tried it once and... Can I play with you guys? My brother went off to find something to eat and I'm bored all alone. Don't you have anyone your age to play with? No, I'm all alone. Come on, please. No way. <laughs> ah! 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 Wow! Ah! And it's a go! Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. That's not how it happened. <sighs> you, you had me scared. For a moment, I thought that. Yeah, well, okay. I admit I left out a bit. The truth is that right when I was almost about to escape... That's better. I prefer the whole truth. Being precise is important, Eugenie. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Vic. It was all a big joke! Hey, everything okay, Vic? <laughs> we may have laid it on a bit heavy there. Why don't we tell her about something good? in the forest. Like what? Nothing good ever happened. Oh, I knew. How about the time we met? That's right. But uh, it was super hot that day. <sighs> Whew. Hey! <laughs> in here! Thanks! If it hadn't been for you, we would have wound up stewed! Those humans are all crazy! Let's cut down the last one and we're off! Oh, over here! Mm -hmm. Thanks! My name is Susie! I'm Eugenie, and he's my brother Sam! And he's, um, he's... Washington! This is my secret cave, and you're all welcome here anytime. Other than Mitch, who occasionally stops by, no one will ever find us here. Uh, no one ever? You sure? Boy, I hope we don't find ourselves nose to nose with any wild animals. Uh, a metal monster! Do you see that bunny beaver asleep inside? Oh, he is too cute. Wow, that funny looking animal lives peacefully with humans? Come on, Vic Honey. Nap time's over. Metal monster! 
monsters everywhere! Susie, you okay? Well, yeah, but I wasn't able to do anything! The metal monster caught me before I could talk to the bunny beaver! Who are these blockheads? Maybe those humans have taken the bunny beaver prisoner! We have to help him escape! Whoa, hang on there! Who are you? I'm neither a bunny nor a beaver, and even less a bunny beaver. My name is Victoria, and I'm a cat. In fact, I am a domesticated cat. What does domesticated mean? Are you guys from outer space or what? Domesticated means I live with humans. I'm a pet, and they are my humans. And this is a car, a machine to get you from one place to another. <laughs> Yeah, and what's the that? <sighs> Relax. These are just moving pictures. It's called a movie. You love them. You coddle them. You want the absolute best for your faithful companions. Well, then give them K Goody Kibble. Whoa! <laughs> ah, <laughs> you won't see me falling for that stuff. You can tell the whole thing's been made up. And yet, that's my life to a T and the life of all other household pets in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. What a marvelous film. It was the feature version of Sentimental Hospital, my favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> Please, please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here. Hush, please, please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here. Vic, we're going home. Wait a sec. Take us with you. We want the same life. <laughs> That's the best one yet. It's my life, and I don't share. <laughs> what do we do now, Wash? We're going to try our luck. really should repair this road. I think we've got a flat tire. <gasps> Wait! I know how we're gonna get out of here. The truck has to hit a big pothole on the road like the Living Stones did. Pothole at 10 o'clock! Oh, Rats is on the other side of the road! Well, then we'll throw the truck off course. At the count of three, everyone jump to my side. Seven, twelve, three. Ah! I'm thirsty. Smoothie time! Susie, quick, grab the keys and open the back door. And we're off to our secret forest hideout. Where no hiker has ever stepped foot. Aren't you hungry? I could eat anything right now. A fox, a wild boar. And why not a cat while you're at it? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No reason to panic. Let's analyze the situation calmly. Susie has managed to escape. The two guys in the front seat are crooks, and we're headed for their hideaway. In the worst part of the forest where they might decide to grill us like hot dogs and eat us for dinner? No, nope. can't see any reason to panic. How about in that bag there? Sure there's nothing to eat? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Smells so bad, you'd probably die of indigestion. Our costumes! They're here! We're saved! Yippee! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yippee? And how, Mr. Einstein, do you plan on getting them? She's right, Sam. As long as we're locked up in here, we're still goners. Mm. Farewell, my beloved city. I will never forget the first 
first time I stepped onto your beautiful asphalt streets. Yeah, back then we didn't know anything, did we? Why, we even thought the Living Stones would adopt us without our costumes. You guys remember? Whoa! Now that's a foxhole from heaven. Don't you think that Vic's fur has been lackluster recently? Hmm. I've noticed that too. I think she must be lonely. It's not easy being an only cat, you know. We should maybe think of adopting some other pet friends for her. Dinner time, Vic, and then we'll go outside and enjoy the sun. This cave is enormous. Wow, do you smell that? I don't know what it is, but it's really appetizing. But what in the... <laughs> so, Vic, feeling a little bit less lonely? A little less only child? Huh? Are you nuts? And who told you you could eat my kibble anyway? Kibble? You mean like in the commercial at the movies? So it was all true? Wash, mm -hmm. come check it out. There's tons more to eat. You. If at the count of three you're not out of here, things are done! <laughs> uh, sorry, Victoria. Do you want to play with us? Oops! <laughs> Good one, Sam! <laughs> there! And never set a paw in here again. Promise. Swear! Promise! What's this? Whoa! Movie's right at home. That was the day we discovered paradise. Uh, it wasn't paradise right away. Yeah, more like a living nightmare, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me you'd leave. So what? We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? But, but your word is worthless then. You're nothing but a bunch of savages. Not really. Instead, you should look at this as a favor we're doing for you to help you fight off loneliness. And to help you get luster back into your fur. Uh, what are you talking about? What in the world ever happened to the Rose Chicken? My friends, the moment has come to put on our most winningest smiles. <gasps> ah! Ah! Wild animals! <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> is this the Animal Pound? There are four of them with fangs and tons of hair and claws and... Just come quick, okay? This is certainly the first time in history we've ever scared human beings. City hunters, run for your lives! in the forest. We're being hunted. So what do we do? It's so weird. Animals are treated like kings in the city. Yeah, but they're all city animals. And we're wild animals. And they'll always think we're wild. There's nothing left to do but go back to the forest. Hey, look, a fox cub. That's proof that wild animals from the forest can also be adopted, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know it was thanks to me that we found out what it was. <laughs> hey, little cop! Don't be so discreet. Go for it. Oh! Yeah. It's not even real. It's fake fur. Check it out. Fake fur? Hey, that's exactly what we need to pass ourselves off as city animals. Look! Let's grab some! You see, Wash? You may have seen the fox cub first, but I was the one who found the costume! Yeah, well, finding a store is a cinch. Getting the costumes out of it is something else. No humans in sight. Everyone into the fake fur and tail cave. On the double! Cave is packed with.
with humans. Look! Over there! Nah, too wild. Too weird. Awesome! <laughs> nah, we can do better. that all of the city animals have owners, like Victoria. With these costumes, we've got every chance in the world with the Living Stones. You can't be serious. Even disguised as household pets, the answer is no. Luckily, just after that, the Living Stones opened the door again and adopted us. And that was thanks to me, because I'm too cute. Not at all. It was thanks to my super adorable Purry. Knock off your nonsense. It was especially when they saw what a super brilliant dog I was. Only in your dreams, guys. If they adopted you, it was 100% thanks to me. Say, Say what? what? I never told you this, but... Oh, my poor little Vic. Why, look, even her whiskers are falling out. Her loneliness is dragging her down. You know what I think? Nugget and Fluffy are all alone this summer. The neighbors are leaving and asked me if we could look after them. Oh, what a great idea. We have tons of room, and it'll do Vic a world of good. You, Vic, we're going to become the best friends in the whole world. As long as there are going to be parasites in this house, I'm going to do the choosing. Hey, what's going on? She's acting like she wants to go out, which certainly isn't like her at all. Oh, look! They are just adorable! Don't you think so, honey? Why do I get the feeling there will soon be seven of us in this house? <laughs> You seriously did that for us? Yeah, well, I especially did it for me. Nugget and Fluffy are such total twits. I'll explain to the neighbors that we can't keep their cats this summer. <laughs> oh, we get our place in line stolen by a bunch of animals who look like they just walked out of the forest. Not all of them. Check out the dog. He's like too cute. <gasps> Huh? Huh? <laughs> I have absolutely got to find a way to get them out of there! Boy, am I ever starving. Hey, we hijacked an animal pound truck. Give me the key. Maybe there are some captured animals in the back. What would you say to some cat kebab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Vic. After all you did for us, we would never let you down. Look at that! Dinner is served! Yeah. The, the police! police. Hey! Her huh? <gasps> costumes! It's not the police, it's the Living Stones! We were saved! Woohoo! But how did they find us? Oh, because of my collar. It's got a GPS tracking device so I can be found. All real household pets have one these days. Uh, yeah, but red alert, guys, because we don't have our costumes. And without our costumes, the Living Stones will never take us back. Yeah. What do you expect, guys? All good things come to an end. Hey, I'll send you a postcard. Hey! Psst, Susie! Susie! An animal pound truck abandoned out here? Well, my GPS reading indicates that Victoria's inside it. Let's just hope they're all in there together. Oh! And to think that I was just seconds from being all alone with the Living Stones. My dream has been shattered. The TV! Your kibble! The sofa! Huh? You're gonna have to squeeze in and find some room, darlings. Since we were so sad at having lost you, we agreed to keep Nugget and Fluffy for the entire summer. Oh. 
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Of course not. I just got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... Don't you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? you, Mrs. Livingstone. Thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! A cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah, 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 Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. Ah, <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <laughs> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. You better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh, super! What? <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah, that's and that's great. why Donald isn't sneezing. And why his highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> it's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Cats have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying? Woohoo! Let's go jump in the puddle! <laughs> <laughs> Operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sam! Sam! Hmm? Hey, 
Squash, everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Uh, why not? I like that group. Because he's going to figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't want to go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're going to have rain every day. <laughs> Let them play together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat, bad dog. <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on, go. <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey. Giddy. If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam, be nice, will you? is enough. Come on, let's go play doctor. <laughs> Stop, you mean bad doggy. You're going to ruin my kid again. <laughs> Washington, stop it, will you? <laughs> you do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight. <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're gonna give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Bad dog! Aha! Found you! Bunny, we'll find him. Whew, no one will ever find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How oh, I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. The answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. <laughs> And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. Hmm. Hey! I found him! Hmm. Weird. Uh -huh. You're way lighter.
better than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat! That's not Sam! Meow? And that's not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! <laughs> <laughs> to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to get you cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, Betty! Hey, your Come paw! On. Hurry up! Uh. Uh. What a monster! I want to go home! What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? <laughs> Oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I was just feeding our lovable little furballs. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you weren't thinking of... But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hey, Vic, can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> You maniac! No! It's not Alvarez! It's our master's own zip zip! Hilarious, huh? Whoa! Awesome! It's just like Alvarez's fur! Make me for Alvarez Jellyfish Dominoes! <laughs> Excellent! Hey, Sam, go on! Tell us what His Majesty has on his mind! <laughs> What a disgusting stink! Do you ever think to wash your mouth out of his mouth, big fur? Okay, I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> You can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished cat nap to complete. <sighs> whoa, whoa. Ah! What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you! Mm -hmm. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! Psst. 
Sam? Uh, cousin of Sam? Say, if Alvarez catches you here, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. No? What are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, 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 Elmo. <laughs> Satisfied now? Of course! Ho 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 ho! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> Oh, God. They've all gone screwy in that yard. No! No! I don't... I don't believe it! It isn't me! Sure it is! It is you! It's all because of the curse of Victoria! She transformed you into a cat! <laughs> But that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again. Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But no dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. Alvarez! <laughs> Alvarez! Alvarez! OK, girls, that's enough. The Living Stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! Hey, my costume! Where is it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it! to your legendary sense of humor. Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no, why? Hmm? Oh no, the Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez! Alvarez? Yes. I've got to talk to Victoria! It's urgent! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Huh? That wasn't Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> <laughs> Vic, you stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the bird. He must know how to put an end to this curse. What if it contaminates us? We'll start barking too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, Adam Pal. Alvarez is a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> Definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. 
there was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> Wala -la -la -la! The lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. But I wouldn't get to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious, but uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way! Flash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. Your clone is upon us. Ah! Is that me? I, I don't believe it. It's me, but I'm me too, and we're both of us here. Ah! Awesome! It's my costume. Oh, with this suit, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we put it in the kitchen? Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Wow! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog! Obviously, a dog is for life. 